hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here welcome in cancer and i hope that you're doing well i'm gonna get some messages out here for you remember that this is a general tarot card reading and so all of the messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies to you and the rest let it fly i'm here getting some messages gonna get into the energy of your person whether this is your current person or past person, right? Uh, oh gosh. Every week um, we see, and on the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, um, the High Priestess energy, Cancerian. <clears throat> I feel like every week the Jack of Swords pops up, and for me, that is someone watching you, investigating you, looking into your life curious about what's going on with you this the last time it came up was with the five of swords so i'm feeling like this person is feeling a bit nostalgic or sad about the the five of hearts i mean um are sad about what they lost with you <clears throat> but i do feel like you are focusing on achieving more for yourself you're not focusing on the past you're moving on moving forward moving forward that's what i feel for you <clears throat> okay so um let's get into the messages thank you so much for coming through um thank you for all your likes shares subscribes on my channel all of your support is greatly appreciated and i'm going to take the cards as they came out first we got the chariot energy which is your energy i'm feeling like you're moving on and away moving uh, moving into your abundance the chariot is your energy cancer you know that's water energy movement action your ships are coming in your abundance your blessings your power tremendous opportunities coming into your life then the ace of sword the eight of swords fell on top of the uh <laughs> of the chariot so i'm feeling like this could be someone wanting to stop you you know a car moving and someone jumps out in the way and they're saying like don't <clears throat> but you are already moving in your glory in all of your abundance and then this person comes out maybe wanting to say no don't go for what reason i don't know they're afraid of losing you perhaps maybe that's why they try to keep you to hold you back at the same time this person is thinking that they're not good enough to level up they're not even thinking of working on themselves they're literally just thinking that they cannot measure up there's no way that they can be all that you all that they see you becoming this <laughs> It's as if they don't, they don't believe or even have an inkling of belief that they can become more and they're more magical. They may speak these things or they may want to appear as this to you, but it's, it feels like a facade and it's an, a, a facade, an illusion. Like they try to, to, they, they do things that they know that you like. For example, like for example, if you're spiritual, I'm getting you're very spiritual here with the chariot energy, angel blessings too, you know. Um, they see that about you and so they try to, I feel, reflect you, okay? Um, reflect you, do the things you do to, to reflect you because they, I feel like they do with the eight of swords i don't feel like this person think that they can actually be this all right so and then um so that yeah the magician card came out after that all right so this person is watching you or was watching you but deep down they're feeling like they can't be this it's as if they know it's not within their blood they're not ever able to do this that's the feeling and i'm not saying this person can't you know but it's to the extent in which they just believe they don't believe that they can be or match your energy when you're really shining all right so they try to run out in front of you and let like stop no don't go with whatever magical forces or energies it can be manipulation you know it can be emotional blackmail 
can be sad stories perhaps you know it can be uh trying to make you feel small like i feel a myriad of tactics being used when it with the magician energy here but it's so plainful and you have the um so plainful it's so it's so playful and the, the the magic they're using is so plain actually it's so it's so it's not even deep it's just like typical manipulation or saying something for someone to to be on your side or to see you as a victim perhaps with the eight of swords energy you know and and you didn't realize that this was actually dimming your shine by maybe staying around this person but you see that now with the eye with the high priestess energy i see you sitting in your high priestess vibe right here can say and you're all over this reading the empress is here i haven't gotten to her as yet you know um so it's beautiful but your person i feel is still here I don't know if they're still trying to cook up some sauce on how to come to you. When I threw the stones earlier, I, I got the, the a fire energy, so that's passion. I feel someone may be thinking about you and getting that sense of, um, yes. Okay, it's, it's rainy season. You know what I mean? So someone is thinking of you. I feel you, you, you know this. It's not affecting your vibration really. You are sitting in a higher perspective over the entire situation here, High Priestess. And um, so these little tricks that they try to use, whether it's energetic um, or try to reach out to you, whatever it is, what they try to speak to you, it does not work. You're not denying yourself anymore. I feel you're standing in your truth, Cancer, and in your power. And you're actually moving out of your heart. I feel all the light of this ca um, on this card is coming through your heart, through your mouth, in the way you express yourself, through your yeah, your even the the yellow in the card feels like even it, the creative ways in which you express you can see in moving through the situation, unbothered, deciding to be you okay and people will have to let you through okay they'll have to let you by all right you're just you'll have to just burst through it's like light you know light cannot be trapped and maybe someone tried to keep you trapped in a sense of darkness here but you have to shine okay you you are overcoming um listen i wanted to talk about your person am i giving you enough information about this person i hope so but I'm just, I feel the reading is mainly about you here. Okay, so overcoming these feelings because then the Nine of Swords came out. All right, so maybe you, I feel, when it came out, I, it was your person's energy. This is how they're feeling. They're like, oh no, what have I done? What did I do? What was I thinking? I must have been dreaming to have done all of this. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh, what have I done? What was I doing? Oh my God. So I feel sooner or later this person may want to reach out to you for some reconciliation here. And they may reach out to you as the bigger person, I feel, stepping up into king energy. This can also, at first, I feel like this king is the one you're focusing on attracting, which is right. Okay, beautiful, my darling. So you may be single, blocking, and really focusing on manifesting true divine love you are dreaming of this love you have been you're waiting to really arrive in this place where this person is in your life but as i'm saying no i feel like your past person or this could be the person you haven't left yet or you're uncertain about and you're wondering hey what's going on here all right yes um so maybe something ended maybe the relationship ended maybe you did move on your light burst through it's like you're like listen son i have work to do here and i have to go i ha I, I do not have time for this nonsense i have to move through and so you moved all the way through empress mode here you are my darling once more present in your reading cancer and so beautiful um do let the genders apply to you okay so overcoming so this person is sad and they may want to come back to you 
to make an apology they do they may come in much more mature they may have been healing so we're going to clarify this energy for you to see if this person is your past person that have healed or this is new interest whatever whoever this is this can be also be your very own energy cancerian as you level up because you are focusing on rebuilding or just re-establishing yourself you're focusing on that all right you're in your zone you're using your intuition you're using your gifts you're using everything that is given to you in this universe that are your magical gifts your way of speaking your creativity your thoughts your ideas all that is yours the friends your family okay that are around you to help to help to push you forward more into the your vision okay and you're not being held back because your vision is strong a man without a vision shall perish and you are definitely not perishing you're overcoming zim um you see what i mean you're overcoming <clears throat> so so this um Let's continue. I want. I said I'm clarifying a person. I feel they're sad. They're asking what they've done. So I'm saying they may have come to some strong realization. Some something that dug deep. I feel cut deep. It, this 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 realization that they had. It feels like if um this person was, it, something brutal happened. Yeah. Let's just put it in that simply simple statement here something brutal happened that's how i feel that may this person like it's a, like a life-threatening situation that may have arrived all right that caused it's brutal and it caused this it's so brutal look this is the nine of swords this hurts you know and it is repeated but it is bringing forth new ways of thinking new visions a person wanting to be a brand new person you know and so it could be your past person coming back around to you so then we had the nine of swords and then we had the empress coming up on top of it so that's why i'm saying you have overcome you have overcome and now we're going to clear you have overcome even with the three of the three of cups energy here is celebration you are all over this reading and it's so beautiful all right can so you have overcome your celebrating you could possibly be reuniting with friends and family all right um this is you feeling good within yourself like giving yourself a high five like yes we did this this feeling of celebration treating yourself um you know i feel this energy is love you could you could be coming together like the results of your work of or of something that you have aligned with so I do feel like you have aligned with your self-love, all right, or you have, you're now around people that love you, and so there's, you are seeing more things that are loving and prosperous and successful and happy, flourishing within your life. This is sisterhood card as well, so you may be celebrating with your sisters here. You, I feel you may be aligning too with your a family that is spiritual. Let's just say that sisters um okay <laughs> okay you may be aligning with that energy we're going to clarify your purse this king of cups energy angels praise guys <sighs> all right who is or what is the king of cups energy here do help me to clarify this king of cups energy uh, this king of cups <laughs> this king of cups person was not getting enough sleep at all they have been thinking about you so it could be your your ex returning as a more mature person hmm? someone they were doing work on themselves healing look at that healing are you seeing all of these cards so this person was here. Thank you for watching. Do check out the extended for this reading. It's so beautiful and intriguing. Um, the link for that can be found in the description box below. I'll catch you in the next time in the next reading. So remember that all is within you. Much love.